You always wanted to do a world conquest, but you don't have a single DLC. YouTubers only show gameplay with the DLCs. Hello guys, this is Slavik and welcome back to my Ottomans campaign where I'm trying to make a world conquest without using a single DLC. As you can see, it's going pretty nicely with our conquests. And today we are going to try to get into India. I allied two main nations over here that I'm not bordering, so not getting that much aggressive expansion on those and they will not be joining my uh, coalitions. And I'll be probably having uh, today to switch alliance with Poland to something else and maybe Moscow because I uh, saw so yeah, they're eager to ally me and those three provinces are blocking uh, my missions to get new claims around here. Uh, I'm taking all of my claims on Ajam, nothing more and uh, this is not a problematic on the aggressive expansion. Uh, money, I'm not going to prolong this for this, I will, at least I would get some truce on other countries as well, so take it, even more beautiful, I need to get rid of this fort because uh, that's waste of money, and uh, now coral of the provinces, and you can see I'm reaching the full amount of diplo points, even though I'm annexing Crimea, and uh, at the same time over, I'm over the relations limit. Uh, so we also start annexing Genoa at this point, annexation of Genoa should end uh, more or less at the same time as annexation of Crimea, and at least you can see now I'm keeping my Diplo points on around the same amount and when I call provinces and increase my diplomatic reputation with that I'll be even losing some points so I will not be having to take technology for 800 points which is a huge waste of this. I absolutely love the diets, look on this mission, Subjugation Castles by Nardabil, which is a pretty big country, I was making claims on them so far. Uh, but just making them my vassal, it's going to be great, especially that Crimea and Genoa are being currently annexed. As I'm pissing RW, you can see, I can not only uh, make them my vassal, but I can also force religion on them, which will not affect uh, their liberty desire. Now I will just have to improve relations with them slowly, and it's great. We have another vassal in the player's map mode, uh, it's definitely visible. In the next years we are going to take care of Poland. Oh, Austria next Hungary by the way, well, it doesn't matter. We take care of Poland, soon take all of Hungarian lands and get claims on Austria. And uh, we also be taking care of uh, the rest of the Mamluks soon. Yep, annexation of uh, Genoa was pretty quick. And uh, right now we have just three more, five more years of annexation of uh, Crimea ahead of us. And uh, we can slightly start making any claims around here. Because right now if you conquer something in this area, it's mainly, you know, on these nations, they carry. Nothing on the Western Europe. And Castis even our ally, so it won't matter. So we could uh, try getting some claims on Savoy, side to France, but France is ruined. You know, just around here, and I'm definitely not going to keep this fort, and not keep this army, and not keep this fleet. While attacking Poland, I'm pretty sure they're going to have millions of armies. Uh, this will be Portugal, Lithuania, Mazovia helping them. I can call Naples, of course I'm going to use them. And if the allies will accept, well, well uh, to be honest, I expected more. These troops will take care of Poland, this stack will just go and take care of Lithuania to separate piece that. Let's see how winged the Hussars are today, just 1000 of Karali on the stack. They're running away, no! Freaking fast. Doesn't matter. Let's go for a crack with them. There goes the second try. You can see that's Lithuania, maybe not Poland. It has 3.3 morale in the hand discipline. When those guys will join 27th, uh, we'll see. Polish. Beach, please. That's what I can say. But those guys will be trying to reinforce. And they, if we're turned to nice see, yeah, they'll be barely on time. But still, that's an easy battle for us. That's a long battle. Oh yeah, they slide, lost slightly more. Eh, it's okay. I uh, just uh, just wanted to try the equality. After sieging down two forts in Lithuania and a couple of provinces, uh, I'm just going to break the relations with Denmark because Denmark still has the Kalmar Union. And uh, there it goes. From Poland, uh, I'll break their relations with uh, Lithuania because the PSD that I'm uh, running for costs like 20% of war scores to all of my claims. This will not be a problem. I'm taking a little bit more than I wanted, so those two princes that I don't uh, don't have claims on. Uh, so whole Hungary for ourselves, plus money, and break relations with Lithuania. Because that's some of our expansion, so I'm thinking about attacking uh, Austria right away. For money probably, but you can see I have claims thanks to it. On all of those lands from Tzili, 
and Austria. So that's pretty nice. And uh, our truce with Mamluks is ending in a couple of months. So this would be my next goal. Yeah, that's a lot of I guess, expansion. I should improve relations with Bohemia if I wanted to keep them as my ally. But still, I said. This is not even close to be a problem. <laughs> Guys, look at this event. 400, 400 admin points. I can now finish my admin ideas, which will increase uh, governing capacity from 950 and force me from 174 to 210 and 1.2 thousand so this is not even close to be any problem for us and i could also in a second take the technology that's a nice event i can take at 50 admin points or death cost and construction cost until the end of the life of current ruler well this will be actually not that much but i'm going to anyway pick it because i have money i soon will be having the technology of new manufacturing and i'll also click this mission and I will build up manufacturers for almost nothing. I will start even doing it right now. Uh, I can take this. So all in any way admin points. I can take. Should I take this? Yes, I can take this. And now, look. This costs me just 385. I'm going to build a couple of them. And right now we'll be waiting for for this to come as well. There's some useless coalition that started forming against us. Problem is, I don't have a claim on a single nation in this coalition. Yeah, unfortunately not. Uh, not even, no, not even Valakia. So I need to wait for someone who I can attack to join. And uh, so I'll be able to crush this coalition ASAP. You know what will be even better? I will attack Austria. Because it will definitely be able to join the coalition. But it can't right now. And so I'll just make truce with them. So uh, other nations will think, no, yeah, I, sh I shouldn't uh, I shouldn't join the coalition because Austria is not potentially part of it. Look what numbers uh, Austrians are bringing here. I was fighting a second ago with 100,000 troops at once in Vienna. So I'm getting here another try. 20, yeah, I'm a little bit over the combat with, but I don't care. And uh, there goes the integration process with Crimea. So this looks even more beautiful. Uh, War of Vamlux is ongoing. I just need to get rid of Hormuz in it. And I'll be probably good to go. And here I just want, you know, to get rid of my collision. So, army quality, you can see our army quality is slightly better. But they are going to reinforce with all of... If they're going to reinforce with all of those guys, yes. I'm going to lose this single battle. It's okay. From what I remember, they're losing way more troops in this battle. Look, if not these 30,000, I would have won this battle. It's okay. I'm just going to run away to Vidin. See the losers. And I'm uh, getting another 20k to support me because I'm slightly outnumbered. The reinforcements came. I'm going to create a perfect stack. Almost perfect because I have 20k of artillery here. 27 infantry to this. Uh, so get uh, the cavalry and 23,000 of those guys. Just I need to shift consolidate them. So the regiments will be full. That will be 23. Uh huh. And those guys will be just reinforcements. I'll show you the power of uh, such stacks. I'll probably engage here because all of guys, uh, all of the troops are in Hungary, so they'll be protecting this fort. And uh, here is just uh, Portuguese and 11,000 of those guys. Uh, I have really shitty uh, generals, but still I should be able to crush them. And this would be actually pretty hard to win if I'm looking on that. And I'm going to even stand uh, with second stack next by in here, so I'll be blocking the potential reinforcements. So this battle, yes, this is an easy win, and we can go farther. This will be not so easy right here because they have so many troops around. I think I wait a little bit to my troops to recover, and then I will also push on this fort. It's not siege down yet, so I have time. This fort, of course, went down like seven or fourteen percent, so they are going into my country, and uh, they also have the right amount of artillery to siege down this. I will probably have to leave here like 1k and deal and protect this fort because I'm pretty sure they will be faster. I will have uh, state edicts to get uh, some defensiveness here and this hurts me really much. This is a morale guy. Okay. Whew. We need to protect. Better general, not this time. Uh, you know what? Let's leave 2000 here. Uh, of course, they are coming to me. I will send there just 5k. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good, 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 good. This 5k will be reinforcing here. 
And I have more artillery here, and uh, they find you go minus one. Plus I have better army quality, but they have numbers. Look how much I'm uh, freaking... How much I'm uh, outnumbered in this battle. This is going to be really close. And I need to keep blocking those guys from uh, attacking me here. Another one to reinforce. Yeah, yeah, you guys, change your mind. You know, I, I need to fight this battle here and keep this fort. I think we should win this, even though we are so much outnumbered. Yeah, I will keep, uh, you, you even said even free. Yes! <sighs> Look, we just lost 9,000 troops here. They've lost 22,000. Power of the right stack. Now you guys can go and uh, take care of the siege and we'll be reoccupying our provinces. Next round, uh, so again, stack is 27, well, it's 23, 4, but it's 26 in the first row and 20 in the second row. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, we have advantage on the terrain. Will they be having crossing? Is this blue thing? They will be having crossing. And they are reinforced, they will be having at least 100,000 troops in this battle. So it's not like, uh, oh, easy win if I reinforce it correctly, this will be super hard with the numbers advantage see how much I'm outnumbered uh, but I'm keeping the right amount of troops in my first row and with good, they're also reinforcing and with my better army quality and good reinforcements I have a chance, it's not like I win win that they are coming with even more troops here and uh, ah, this will be super close uh, but there's a chance that we're going to lose that simply outnumbered you were at 0 0.62, I have 101, but I rolled 0 now. Oh, yeah, 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 my army is dying. See? My battlefield. I might have morale, uh, but I don't have troops. Oh, 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 they started running away! We did it, run it! Yes! They've lost over 40,000 troops in 1545. I just lost uh, 16. Thousands. Maybe now you'd like to peace out. Not yet, uh, but we're getting there. I think uh, it's time to go and get Vien. With Vien, this would be an easy peace. And we still look, we're still on, almost on the maximum manpower. That's how strong we are. My next government reform, normally I'll be picking uh, stage jam, but I have a ton government that it's changing absolutely nothing. I will go for more absolutism because uh, I feel like it might be a problem. Um, but still, we are slowly, you can see, getting rid of some of the privileges. Are you ready for some fun? So let's go! Let's go, let's go! This stack should be also blocking them a little bit from reinforcing this battle. Yeah, you can see, I'm blocking... They wanted to go from here to here, but I just blocked them. They changed their mind and they have... I have a new ruler. Four... Yeah, this is way better than we had. Uh... 989. Nine. I just would like to get better advisors. Uh, oh yes, improvisation level 3. Okay, that's that's great. This is also not bad, just this army might be problematic. And uh, I, yeah, I need to pay Janissaries to fuck off. Also, most of the nations are in the Austrian war are sick of it. I already pissed out Brandenburg. And I'm going to do the same with, uh, with Savoy. Okay, two things. First of all, peace out Portugal out of the war. That's 24 right now. Second step, peace out Austria. Fast left the collision. Uh, peace out Austria for money. Yep, I just need truce and I might break their relations with someone because they have a lot of alliances. I'll break the alliance with Brandenburg. Just take slightly less money. There it goes. Next step, peace out the Mamluks. Yes, I'm getting all of the claims I have from the missions. Collision is dissolving. Maybe I'll let the collision dissolve first and then I'll peace them out. I will see, uh, so I can just uh, deal with those guys first, kill them. I'm on the limit of Diplo points, I see that. Funny thing is I have uh, nothing to spend them on, so I just simply have to dev the provinces. Uh, I will start doing so, slowly. Of course, the deving without the uh, deals is, is uh, really u not so useful. I wanted to say useless, but it's not useless, it's just uh, less efficient. Peace and out. Beautiful, isn't it? A new mission to click here is to conquer Egypt. And it unlocks us on our claims around here and here. Fortunately, I didn't have to fight them. So the coalition is down. <sighs> and this is not going to be a last situation like that. I can build another manufacturer. As you can see, there's a, uh, a lot of them coming. And now, I guess, expansion is pretty uh, close to zero. 
And uh, I'll start with attacking Ajam, and then we'll going uh, into India, finally. A little bit later than I wanted, but it's still really nice. Kazan is in general protected by Maskoi, but we are the same war as Maskoi, so they won't be able to join this. And uh, I'm going to use it and attack Kazan as fast as possible and peace out before we peace out Lithuania. They have just capital food, so it shouldn't be a big problem. Uh, they have just 9000 troops, so just carpet is your thing, get the capital fort. There goes my peace with Kazan, of course I'm paying some diplo points for the unjustified demands. And they're going, not going to accept it, so I'm just going to take one less province, a little bit of the money. Beautiful. There are no favors without DLCs, right? And my vassals occupied couple of provinces around here and uh, or just neither though maybe Moscow gave it to me I can separate piece them so I'm just going to earn some money 800 for us probably shorter truce because the Moscow will take a bigger war score and look Denmark is also king of Lithuania in the meantime if I fully annex Sint this is going to be 78 aggressive expansion which is totally from what I see doable. Yeah, I'm going to fully annex them. What we can feed, think only about is to attacking Delhi just to prevent them from joining a potential coalition. I have some claims on them, but this war would be more probably to get some money. Uh, we have a lot of money, but get even more money. Maybe even conquer something. We, we might go crazy. And as we are talking about India, I'm going to ally Vijay because Bahma is just broke relations with me. So I guess Vijay is my new friend. I had to break the freaking Indian hotbox because there was an alliance between Delhi, Malwa, and Bengal. I already uh, peace out Malwa, breaking the relations with Delhi. I white peace Bengal right now in a peace deal with Delhi. I'm going to break the relations uh, with Bengal. I'm going to take my claims, which is those two provinces. Or do I want to take more? I don't think so, and I'm going to take uh, money. Or maybe a little bit more? Uh, this expansion is not so huge for those provinces. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's what I'm going to take. I just need a little bit more of the war score. Also, some of you suggested me after the last episode that I should uh, vassal as the Timurids. But you can see all the claims are pretty much gone, so they wouldn't be that much use of them. Plus, remember, we don't get castus bellies of our subjects without the DLCs. I think that's right now moment for me to get rid of the cavalry. I'm not using them that much and I prefer to put more infantry and artillery or just more artillery in my stack. So if I want to spend more money, I'll spend it on the artillery, not on the calf. With this change, all of my stacks will be right now 16, 0, 10. It's not perfect. Because perfect stack would be 27010 for siege and 27027 for fight. But we don't have to be that much effective. It's not multiplayer. So we are cost and supply limit effective. Supply limit is pretty much around 2526. That's why I'll be staying right now with such stacks. And that will be giving me max bonus on the forts to the siege. And also some protection to the artillery. And we still have money to afford that. My another step is to attack right now Lithuania. And I'll be breaking the relations with Poland because they are allied. Yes, they are allied. And then I will attack Zaporozhye, which will be protected by Poland. So, you know, just take care of both of them. And maybe even Moldavia, as I have also claims on them. It will all depend on the amount of the Axis expansion. Let's see army quality of Poland. Okay? 13-3-1. Good job AI, this is a very good stack, definitely you are not going to get wiped in this battle. Well, that's actually not a wipe. They don't have any modifiers to infantry. What kind of ideas you have unlocked? Uh, they should be already having infantry compatibility and calf compatibility. Yeah, the cool. I'm taking that back. They came with more troops and they're winning now. All right, all right. I, I didn't say anything, guys. I didn't say anything. Well, they still lost more troops than me. You know what? I'm still having almost full manpower and millions of money. Let's build another stack. It will be asset 16010. Remember my plan to attack Moldavia. They are allies to Russia. But good thing Russia is in debt and they are not really willing to help. You need to see this. I was thinking, why why Poland is going for Bohemia solve? Maybe they'd war with someone around. They had war with Mali, which probably just attacked a Kochfolic nation. Did they what? Mali ah they attacked 
France, which is dying and Poland is helping them. From uh, Lithuania, I'll just be repairing borders. I have claims only on those three provinces, but I think this will should make the borders nice. And Austria will be able actually to join. We would have to wait another year with the peace, but I don't think I will do so. I'll just uh, get one less province. Take uh, break relations of uh, Poland, take money. And should be better and better. Our other ruler just died. New one is 165, which is good and bad news because this is two, these two are great. Uh, but I was thinking about my next idea group to be from administrative ones, but we can always just go influence instead, as we'll be having so many diplo points. I was also getting to a couple of admin points and mill points, so I just left a couple of times in Constantinople. It was around 40% here already, or even 50%. Probably have to click this one more time. Yeah, and this will come in the next year. From Vimamrux, I'm this close to click all of my claims, but you're just uh, missing the capital. This peace valve for this, and imagine, because it's my permanent claims, and I have all these bonuses to the coring cost. See? I will pay just 50 admin points for 50% of our extension. Isn't that overpowered? Well, this is even more overpowered. This scoring will be finished in November this year. It's February, it will be finished this year in November. Jampur is calling him into the war with GVJ, and I'd rather be eating Jampur than VJ, so I'm going to decline and I'm going to find. So to uh, use the Diplo map there, uh, I'm going to find a new ally. Uh, maybe Bengal, but it's allied to Malwa. It's, it's really hard because they are allies to each other. After all, I decided to like Savoy and Bengal. So my alliances look like that. Good nations as our allies uh, to minimize this expansion of them and also so they will help us stopping potential coalition from spreading. We finally see Asia, you can see Bing. Burly leaves. We have a weird nation called Hakatayama. I never saw it so big in Japan. Thanks to social mobility event, you can remember it decreases merchant guilds loyalty by 20 and it takes 70 army points from you and also army tradition. It was worth because now I have more loyalty than influence of Umera, which allows me to cancel one of the privileges and we'll be slowly getting it lower and lower just to the minimal ones that we need so i'll be having as much absolutism as possible oh boys we'll be having some super hard battles with poland right here because they have another stack around uh, waiting to rain for us so what i'm going to do i'm going to go see my combat with 27 so use all of my uh, artillery i'll use 27 infantry right, let's go let's go let's go let's go they have 8 to 10 stack on the siege. Of course, at the start, we'll be winning. I can start reinforcing with the first 5k, another 5k. Okay, that was way easier than I expected, to be honest. How is Bohemia in this war? Are, did you ally Bohemia in the meantime? No, that's very bad. Bohemia was my ally. As I attacked Poland and uh, lost my alliance with Bohemia because of that. Uh, there's a small collision happening on us. Uh, so I'm just going to deal with that by attacking Delhi. Like, I won't, don't want them to join the collision as well. So I just attack them. Uh, my truce ended, so uh, this was like a preventive war. I can't even take much from Poland because if I take claims, you can see already also be joining. But my this expansion is going down by 3.5 yearly. So in the... January will be able to peace them out without Austria joining the coalition. What is the religious? There is less and less Catholic in Europe and I can use that to expand it more harshly here and I think I will start doing that with the next war and in the meantime I can attack Moldavia because it's granted by Poland and I don't want Poland to defend them to so just start the war right away and I'll throw in next uh, Moldavia. We are at the point where truce juggling is becoming more and more important can see by the gas expansion around Austria already joined the coalition, same as Chile, and there'll be more nations doing that. What I have to do next is definitely to attack Hormuz when my truce ends with them, which is in August, and in the meantime, also deal with uh, Mawa uh, because my truce with them ends. I don't have truce with them, but uh, they are towards they can join the coalition until they peace out. Of course, in this war, I don't want to take much 
mainly my only claim. Um, but also, Forts. This would be probably the best piece, but on the cost of a little bit too much aggressive expansion. But I can at least get the institution, get the admin tech for almost free, and uh, start taking influence ideas. If we are talking about influence ideas, we need to find new vassals, because I already annexed all the ones that I had. If you want to avoid a gigantic collision, we need to act fast. First of all, peace out Malwa. Now, uh, oh, Jaunpur actually can't join it, uh, but Sirhint will be able to join it, and Jaunpur will be protecting them, that's why I'm going to attack them as next. Also, I'm going to attack Yemen, as it didn't join my coalition yet, and it's still fighting with the Mamluks. I'll need just a stack around here. This will be all very close. Spain! Spain, Spain! It's going to be in the war against Venice. Yes, it's fighting with Venice, or it's not. Yes, so Venice is out of the coalition, thanks to this call to arms. Now this event is problematic, because on one hand I need Diplo points for my ideas, but on the other I really need army quality uh, for these wars that I'm going to uh, run in the near future. So I'm just going to develop a little bit with my new points to spend them, then I'm going to focus on the military, because right now this wars to avoid collisions will be key. Funny thing, we are fighting three wars at once, and nations actually started leaving the collision. Austria, for example, cannot join it back. So right now I'm counting for those guys to leave it as well. Ooh, guys, 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 I just stuck white Venetian troops around here. They had 27,000 troops with losing just 1849 soldiers. This was Beautiful, and I don't think uh, Spain needs any more of my help in this one. Just go around here and around here. With Jaunpur, I'm going to break the relations with Afghanistan, with Sirhint, and Nagar, and uh, we can also take some money. That's actually a lot of money, yep. I want just a long truth of them for now, I'll be not dealing with, uh, with this nation. And we are waiting for the end of the year to be able to peace out our wars. Uh, so Austria will not be able to join the coalition. It's 40 freaking 9. Let's get rid of this horse. First of all, Yemen. My claim, plus a couple of more provinces. Yes, it seems right. Uh, maybe I could break something. No, I don't think so. Just take some money. Uh, not so much of it. Peace out, Sir Hint. I think I'll do that after coring. I can't core Multan as we are at war. Okay, no worries. Whew. Let's do this. We need to focus right now more or even more claims because our expansion is all about the claims and again, see, we will be having to juggle the truth all the time. I'm going to do a very useful thing right now. I will call Transoxiana into our war. Yes, and now they can help the allies. Example. Farce. I need to get rid of this nation finally because it's joining every single coalition against me and I'm sick of it. In the meantime, also separate piece Khorasan and they get as long truce as possible so they'll be not joining the coalitions. Who else is uh, the ally? It's just Afghanistan. Afghanistan is allied to Ajam and Ladakh. I think we could attack Afghanistan as well, just the truces and breaking all of the relations with Transoxiana. I will start even with Afghanistan, as it's a bigger nation, defeating my claims. The question is, do we want to take more? For example, those two, that's 53 uh, diplo points that we will pay. Uh, pretty much the same because of expansion, like I don't see much difference. There's still no Austria, which is I think the most important right now. And uh, take money and break relations with uh, Transoxiana. So those guys are still my allies. But only allied to farce and I should improve their relations because we have a bonus for being in the same war. I want to speed the things up. I could play a little bit more defensively and just expand more when the uh, absolute comes in a second. But we have the power points. So why not? This will be a little bit unpleasant, but I'm still very happy with the campaign and I just want to kill as many uh, nations with the same religion as possible because all of those will be having a expansion at the end of the game so we just want to get rid of them ASAP. Now it's time to attack Gujarat 
It's uh, theoretically protected by Bahamans and Malwa, but Bahamans is too exhausted to protect them. And I also attack Kaza in the meantime, so I'll be getting another couple of provinces from them. A 261 error is pretty tragic, uh, but on the other hand, 41 years age ruler with no error would be even more tragic. Now that I pissed out the Mamluks, I took almost 100% world score, I pissed out also Gujarat and released a vassal here. That's a starter, right? Those two provinces, but I'll be feeding him with provinces from around here. Uh, to be honest, I have 100 prestige. Uh, so, I can just sell them a couple of those provinces and... Well, I didn't do this thing for like a million years. We need to wait a month to do that. With all of this expansion today, uh, our dev is already 3000. Income didn't change much because I'm not stating anything except my mainland. And I'm not stating it because look, my governing capacity is reaching full slowly. And uh, it will take time for me to get this 250 uh, because simply our average autonomy is 66. Because of that, we are expanding so much. And I think, guys, this will be all for today. So, again, this time I was showing you how to juggle the truces, how to fully use your combat with in the wars versus uh, outnumbering enemies. And uh, in the next episode, will be mainly taking care of juggling truces with those, all of those Sunni nations. Look, so much like this expansion that even Mali could be joining the coalition soon. But uh, juggling truces, juggling truces, getting claims all the time, building claims all the time, keeping strong allies, and getting into absolutes. We can see we are getting really ready for this. So for today, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this episode, just please remember to leave a like, comment, and of course, Subscribe to the channel if you don't do that already. See you soon.